What's up guys, it's Josh. Today I'm going to show you how to use the ntdsutil.exe to view roles on a DC and I'm also going to show you how to view the SID history attribute properties in Active Directory. So to start with the ntdsutil, we're going to click start and key ntdsutil.exe and click enter. So once you get to the ntdsutil.exe, you want to type in roles and then connections and then put in connect to server and I'm going to connect to my server 1 which is rwdc1 dot domain one dot local and then you'll get a prompt that says connected to RWDC1 using credentials of locally logged on user and we want to type in quit and click enter so after that we're going to key in select operation target and we want to put in list roles for connected server and then hit enter And those are the list of roles for the connected server, which is our RWDC1. Type in quit and hit enter. And now we're going to put in connections again. And it'll say connected to RWDC1. And we want to connect to RWDC2 of the child domain, which is the server that we're on now. So type in connect to server rwdc2 dot child1 which is the child domain and domain of domain1 dot local and it'll say connected to rwdc2 using the credentials of locally logged on user. Key and quit and let's select operation target and we're going to type list roles for connected server and we're connected to the RWDC2 now maybe if I type it in there. And then we're going to put in list roles for connected server. And we're connected to RWDC2 now. So these are the roles for RWDC2. Type in quit and close the command prompt. So next I'm going to show you how to view the SID history attribute in Active Directory. The easiest way to do this is to go to the command prompt and type in DS query all which is shift 8 and it shows you all of the attributes and it's a lot to look through but it will tell you what you need to know you can put filters on them but that's pretty much it thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time peace out